Hi everyone, today I thought I would sit down and do a little update video, I haven't done one of these in a while and a lot of things have happened, <laughs> obviously. I've decided not to put my lights on or anything and just use my window as light, so hopefully it will stay somewhat even, <laughs> but if it goes a bit funky then that's why. I just didn't fancy setting up all my lights and stuff. We're going a bit more laid back today. I haven't written any notes for this video either, so this is just me chatting. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to update you on everything and not forget anything, so yeah. I've been a bit inconsistent with making videos over the past month and a bit. Some of you may have picked up on that, some of you may not have, but I have definitely had it kind of like on my shoulders very aware of it and wanting to change it. In March I decided to take the month off of work. I say it like that because I, I can't fully take a month off work, I can't take time off of work completely. What I mean by that is I took time off of Patreon so just kind of relieved a bit of pressure on my shoulders of the workload. So I can pause my Patreon if I want to so no one gets charged, I don't have to do the work for that month and then I can just pick it up the next month. So that's what I decided to do for last month and that was before obviously everything happened in March so I'm very glad <laughs> I took that time off because like most people in the world I was thrown back a bit by everything that's going on right now so yeah I think it was definitely good timing to take a bit of time off of work so I had some time to just chill a bit. So in terms of like mental health and stuff like that I know I'm pretty open on here with chatting about that sort of thing. I don't tend to talk about it like as it's happening but I'm okay to talk about it once it's happened if that sort of makes sense. I'm not going to go into mega detail because I don't want to yet but in the last couple of months I have been back to the doctors for my mental health. I know I've mentioned PMDD on my channel before and a lot of you seem to relate to it and that is something I have been back to the doctors to talk about. I'm currently going through a process where I have to document my mood every single day for a month or two. Hopefully by the end of that I will be able to have a few more answers about PMDD and whether that is like 100% something that I have. Um, at this point I don't see how it isn't. So in short I've basically been getting depressive episodes every single month <laughs> at pretty much the same point in the month um, and I find it really hard to cope and stay motivated so for like two, one or two weeks out of the month I am, my head is elsewhere so I only really have like two productive weeks in the month um, and that's obviously something I want to change because it makes working very difficult. <laughs> so in terms of mental health I'm just trying to get some help for when I'm having those depressive episodes. I can cope with them better basically. So it's taken me a month and a bit to go through the process of getting myself onto the list to get help. <laughs> so that was a load of phone calls and stuff that I had to make um, and I knew I was going to have to make them last month so that's another reason that I wanted to take a bit of time off because I know that they would be draining but they're all done now. That's kind of like where I'm at. I have had some really good times this year. When we were allowed out, <laughs> I was going out seeing friends. I've been going on a few dates. I've just really enjoyed getting out the house. So I feel like I got to that point where I was like, actually, I quite enjoy being outside. Um, you know, my anxiety's not too bad. I still had a bit of anxiety, but I actually enjoyed myself like being out of the house and it gave me something to look forward to. And now we're obviously not allowed out at all. So yeah. <laughs> Um, that was a great little curveball of 2020. I'm not going to talk about the whole situation right now <laughs> in the world until the end of the video because I know that a lot of people are triggered by it. So if you do want to watch the rest of this video and not hear about it, you can kind of cut off at the end. So yeah, if you can hear a tractor going past, that's because there's a tractor going past. <laughs> in terms of work and my workload and what I'm doing and stuff like that, I've mentioned it before but obviously I'm doing the my green cow stuff full time now. I don't have my, I did have a little stationery shop and I had my jewellery shop. I don't have either of those anymore but I do have the clearance stock over on my website for quite discounted prices. The cloudy cow stock is currently buy one get one free and the daisy my jewellery stuff is currently 40% off everything so yeah I'll have links to my shop and stuff below. I'm gonna mark this section of the video where I'm talking about work as an ad because pretty sure most of it will come into the ad law thingies and I don't want to get caught out so just kind of blanketing it all as an ad but I'm going to be talking about this anyway. So yeah I'm doing the migraine cow stuff full time so that's kind of one of my sources of income. The other source is freelance work so I am doing some work for Craft Stash at the moment. I pick up 
odd little jobs and stuff so I did a collaboration with Lisa from the lollipop box sometimes I'm sent stuff and paid to do content on it stuff like that so I have that part of my job and then I've got my own like my green cow stuff that I do so that includes like my patreon my shop um youtube videos affiliate stuff all of that kind of thing obviously the freelance stuff is kind of a bit hit and miss as it is the stuff I do with craft stash is a monthly thing so that's kind of consistent but everything else is I don't know when it's coming <laughs> so that's always been quite non-reliable income now with everything that's happening obviously brands and collaborations and launches and stuff like that obviously the products that they are launching will have delays um so that already kind of fragile and inconsistent source of income is now even more <laughs> fragile and inconsistent which is fine and I get it but it means I'm having to focus more on this stuff that I have like the migraine cow stuff and put a bit more time and effort into it because I obviously don't have like the freelance stuff coming in quite as consistently so for April I am back on Patreon I have that open again I've designed some collage sheets and artwork and stuff um, I'll be doing my extra videos over there so if you do fancy coming over and supporting me over on my Patreon I would really really appreciate that especially right now it's not that expensive I do have more expensive tiers there's a $25 one which you will get a package of happy mail along with all the other perks on my patreon but there is the $4 one which that gets you early access to my youtube videos it gets you the collage sheets and I also do a little thank you for everyone who's a patron so yeah that's what the little $4 one which works out about £3.50 ish give or take obviously the currency conversion differs from time to time so it works out about three pounds something per month and it's one of those like cancel anytime things you don't have to be subscribed for x amount of time if you just want to support me one month and then stop you can do if you want to support me for three and then stop you can do if you want to support me for however long you just leave it running I don't mind what you do I just appreciate the support the tier that gets you the videos is the eight dollar one which also gets you obviously everything below it so that's the early access and the uh, collar sheets and then the ones above that $16 and $25 are physical items that I send to you each month so that's kind of a quick overview of my patreon <laughs> very brief in terms of freelance work I have been doing a lot of free campaigns so I've not been paid for them but I've been sent a lot of free stuff I'm now in the Cricut influencers team so they email me when they have campaigns and stuff that they want to do and I just let them know if I want to be a part of it I've been doing a lot of content over my Instagram for that so yeah that's been really really fun to do like odd little jobs on the side of everything obviously I have to prioritize the paid things over the free like campaign type stuff but yeah if it's something that I really want to do and I know that you guys would like to see I take it on board because I might as well it's fun one of the big things that has been flipped on its head is the big meet obviously we were going to do that in June and now <laughs> we've decided to change it because it's just a little too close for comfort so we have changed it to the 10th of October 2020 we had to double check with like the venue and stuff and obviously we've had to let Amy know and double check that she can still do it but everything's good the venue can do it Amy can do it so the big meet is now in October um and that has been a bit of a stress a bit of a crazy time so that is that I think other than work stuff I have pretty much just been playing Animal Crossing <laughs> which if you follow me on Twitter that has been where I have nerded out big time about Animal Crossing that has definitely been my escape <laughs> I think it's the best way to put it um for the basically the whole of March it came out in March and I have been playing it every day since and it has really helped with my mental space and just kind of giving myself something to look forward to and something to focus on um, because the news is scary. Before I finish this and go on to the other stuff, I thought I'd let you guys know that I am going to be doing a desk tour which is one of the most requested videos I have had since I moved here. Anytime I post a photo of like a bit of desk in the background I usually get like a message or something or a comment saying can you do a desk tour? Have you done a desk tour? And obviously the answer is no I haven't done one and yes I will be doing one. I was waiting until I had things sorted um, but I've decided to just show you guys what it looks like as it is which is a tad messy, tad all over the place but it's my desk and this is how I've made the most of the limited space that I have in this room so yeah that is coming not sure when hopefully soon <laughs> I'm hoping to film it at some point at the end of this week slash next week it is a much more time consuming video to do so 
yeah, just bear with me, but it's coming. I'm definitely, I've decided I'm doing it no matter what because I wanna show you guys what I have done with this space. I have a few more creative videos coming. I was sent some new Zinni Dories, which I cannot wait to show you. The colors are so pretty. So I'll share those in a creative journaling session at some point. Also, it's National Stationery Week coming up this month. So I'll have some National Stationery Week uh, content coming for you. I have been sent some stuff from the brands who are sponsoring the week. So I'll do a little haul video on here for you um, at some point. And then I'm gonna be doing some separate content for definitely my Instagram and social media, possibly my blog. I don't know whether I will start that up again or not. I do enjoy doing my blog and haven't done it in probably since last National Stationery Week, which was last year. I just find it really hard to keep up with that along with like all my social media, YouTube channel, Patreon, like there's other priorities on my list um, of where to post my content. So yeah, the blog's just kind of been bumped down a bit, but I am debating doing some content on there but I don't know, we will see. It all depends on timing and yeah, because again, that is a non-paid for campaign. That's just something I'm taking part in because I have done for the past how many years it's been running and I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm now gonna talk about the C word, the current COVID-19 that's going on. So if you made it this far and you don't wanna watch the end, completely get it because there is a lot of chat about this at the moment, so thank you for watching this far. But yeah, I thought I couldn't really glaze over what has happened in the last month. I'm not gonna have a massive chat about it, I just wanted to kind of briefly mention it at the end. But much like many countries at the moment, we're currently in lockdown. Me and my family are currently in an isolation bubble of our own because we're in the middle of nowhere, so that's kind of a pro. But my dad and my brother are key workers, so my dad's obviously a farmer, so he is working his butt off right now because the whole farming thing has gone completely skew if with um, shops and obviously the demand for different things and stuff. So yeah, him and his brothers are working very hard at the farm. So he's still going out to work and doing jobs and stuff. My brother works at Wilco, which is one of the shops that hasn't closed because they sell um, like pharmacy sort of things and stuff like that. So he's still working in the evenings and going out and stacking shelves. Obviously I work from home, so that's fine. <laughs> um, and my mum does childcare, so she, obviously isn't working. So that's our family's situation in regards to the isolation. One of the changes I have had to make is my walks with Bonnie because, oh my goodness, when we went into lockdown, the amount of people who flooded to the countryside was horrendous. Obviously living here, I see people walking past the house. It's usually the same people, we know them. It's the same dogs, it's the same like people walking up through the farm. I saw so many families, so many people I'd never seen before, dogs I'd never seen before. There was so much traffic up through the farmyard, which was kind of concerning. We're meant to be in lockdown. <laughs> You're not meant to be leaving your house. Obviously people are meant to go out and they're allowed to walk and everything, but it was just loads of people who decided, let's go to the countryside. It just triggered my anxiety massively because I was like, the amount of people touching gate and not wearing gloves and not thinking about how that could be passed on. It's just, it just added a whole nother level of anxiety that I didn't think would happen. So I have had a few moments of like proper, proper intense anxiety and I feel like I've had that on edge feeling for the past months. So I've been dealing with my like normal level of anxiety and then I've had like that added layer of Every, what everyone else is experiencing basically. I have been struggling with that and I've been struggling with the whole everyone's in the same boat so deal with it kind of attitude that's out there. I'm obviously well aware that like feeling this way is valid and I shouldn't be thinking like that but it still kind of lingers at the back of my head where it's like I can't really complain about it, I can't really say that I've had a bad day because everyone's having a bad day, that sort of thing. That's been the added layer of like how do I vent this, how do I get this out of my head. So I've been journaling quite a bit <laughs> which helps um, if you haven't started a brain dump highly recommend, especially at the moment. So that's my current situation and where I'm at. But yeah, I do have to prioritise the paid work at the moment. Um, YouTube does not pay. Like, I get about £30 a month, which obviously is, it's not a bad amount of money, but it doesn't meet the threshold, so I don't get paid that every single month. So yeah, YouTube is not a income that I can rely on. Whereas obviously my Patreon, I know roughly how much I'm gonna be getting that month and I know I'm gonna get it 
every single month as well regardless of how much it is it's more consistent it's more reliable it's less <laughs> anxiety in my head but i do miss doing youtube videos and i really really enjoy the community that is on here and the chats that i have with you guys so i'm gonna try really hard to juggle things a bit and get a bit more content out there i think that's all i have to ramble about i do like to do update videos every now and again because i do feel like i go a bit mia so yeah it's nice to just kind of like draw a line here's a little update this is what's happening see you in my next video where i'm gonna do crafty stuff as always if you do have any questions then let me know down below and i will get back to you thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video which should be a desk tour if i get it done in time if not might be another video before that one yeah <laughs> we'll see i thought i'd pop bonnie in at the end bonnie is still doing brilliantly she has been the best thing <laughs> for me in the past month or two you've just been you've been the best you've been the best little bean yeah i talked to wave are you gonna wave for everyone can you wave bonnie wave no wave 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 good girl it's better when she's sat on the floor but you get the gist she had a birthday in march so she is now three even though i've not been taking her on walks we have been going in the garden and playing so oh you know what that means don't you it's like oh the garden i like the garden i like the garden a lot but she's still doing good she's still picking up really bad habits from hallie um and just living here so i can't wait to get out and and try and get those habits out of her but yeah moving out is just a long-term goal um for now we're just trying to not go crazy living here can i get a little kiss oh thanks thanks mm -hmm.